Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are going to be working on the AP Calculus 2007 free response questions, and um, we've moved on to the non-calculator portion here. So here's number four. A particle moves along the x-axis with position at time t given by this, for zero less than equal to t less than equal to two pi. Find the time t at which the particle is furthest to the left, and justify your answer. Okay. Um, furthest to the left is when x is the most negative because when x is positive that's sort of like to the right and when x is negative is to the left so I'm looking for the most negative value or I'm looking for the minimum so a is really find the minimum of x okay to find the minimum of x what do I do is I do uh, x prime of t I set the derivative equal to 0 the derivative by product rule it's e to the negative t cosine t plus um, the derivative e to the negative t, which is minus e to the negative t uh, sine t. Now, I factor out an e to the negative t, and I get cosine t minus sine t. And that has to equal 0. e to the negative t, an exponential function, is never 0. So this can't ever be 0, but this part can be 0 t minus sine t equals 0, or cosine t is equal to sine t. Now, cosine and sine t, you got to look at your unit circle. That's when the x and the y values are the same. That happens here and here, between 0 and 2 pi. So that, and I'm looking at, um, yeah, this is 0 to 2 pi. So I'm looking at pi over 4 here, and down over here, I'm looking at plus pi. This is 5 pi over 4, right? So this is t is equal to pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. Okay. Remember, cosine is the x value. you got to do the unit circle. I know, like, got to got to make sure you're, you're solid on that because sometimes you'll, you'll just kind of have to know this. This is non-calculator portion, right? i got to do this all by hand. Um, okay, good. Then, uh, now, we got to figure out when this is the furthest left. Okay, and that we can do by the first derivative test. We can say, well, um, see, to the left of pi over 4, when, slightly, so if I, if I make my table t, I do pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and I can pick values, right? So I know that um, x prime of t um, is 0 here, 0 here. I need to pick a value here. So say I pick like pi over 2 here. And then I pick uh, 3 pi over 2. So I'm going to pick this point for pi over 2, this point for 3 pi over 2. And then beforehand, I want to pick maybe 0, right? So the derivative, uh, when I plug in 0 here, this is just, this is always a positive number. And I'm only looking at sine, the, 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 the sine of the value, if it's positive or negative. Cosine of 0 is 1. Sine of 0 is 0, so this is positive. At pi over 2, cosine is 0 and sine is positive that makes this negative and then at 3 pi over 2 cosine is 0 but sine is negative 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 or it's negative 1 that makes that positive 1 so that makes that positive okay now the sign changes so when do we have a minimum minimum is when the slope goes from negative and it goes from positive right negative slopes to positive slopes. So when the sign changes from negative to positive, it's when I have a minimum. So the minimum is at t equals 5 pi over 4. Okay. B. Find the value of the constant a for which x of t satisfies the equation ax double prime of t plus x prime of t plus x of t equals 0. Okay. Well, I gotta compute each of these and plug it into here. I've already computed what x prime of t. So I know x of t is equal to um, e to the negative t sine t. I know x prime of t is equal to this, e to the negative t cosine t minus sine t. Now I need to compute the second derivative. It's equal to, again by product rule, e to the negative t. The derivative of this would be negative sine t minus cosine t plus the derivative of this one is negative e to the negative t times cosine t minus sine t. And I factor out an e to the negative t. 
uh, I get a negative sine, a negative cosine, a minus cosine, and a plus sine. So I get a negative sine t minus a cosine t minus a cosine t. But this negative becomes plus sine t. These cancel together, and I get negative 2 e to the minus t cosine t, right? Because there's, there's two of these here. Now I need to plug all of these into this equation. So I have a times the second derivative, which is negative 2 e to the minus t cosine t, plus the first derivative, which is e to the minus t cosine t minus sine t, plus this x of t, which is just e to the minus t sine t, right? And that has to equal 0. OK, so now I can factor out an e to the negative t again. So this part becomes negative 2a cosine t. This part is just plus cosine t minus sine t plus sine t equals 0. The sine t's cancel conveniently. And so I can factor out a cosine t. So e to the negative t cosine t minus 2a plus 1 has to equal 0. Okay. Now, if I want this to be true for like all t, like the whole range of t values, none of, I, I can't include the exact, there's some specific values of t where like this is zero, but if I want it to be true for all values of t, this part has to be zero. Or a is equal to uh, one half. Okay, let's look at how we did. Uh, farthest left, t equals pi, five pi over four. Oh, you know, I should have checked 0 and um, 2 pi. I didn't check the endpoints technically on the position if I wanted the absolute value because I only found relative minimum for A. So I kind of should have lost points for some of that. Um, I should have checked the position at 0 and the position at 5 pi over 4. So I only did maybe for the first part of this. And then I got A equals 1 half here. Okay. So hope you guys found that helpful. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.